If you have studied the history of the church, you will see that there is a time that in the history of the church that we used to refer to as the Dark Age. In the Dark Ages of the church, <laughs> because nobody was talking, because the church, the church guarded, gagged, gagged the mouth of people. And they practice things like, um, what do you call this? I, not crusades, but when you are killing people and putting them on fire, burning them, okay. inquisition. Mm -hmm. You know, so it is inquisition. So the, that inquisition and all those things, it is a process of gagging people. So inquisition, it has happened before and the church was dead. Now, the church was not totally dead. Because there were still people who were hiding, who were, you know, underground, the remnants. But this is not the church of one country. I'm talking about the whole world was like dead. Just because there were no people criticizing. And we had this period for like 1,000 years. 500 years, 600 years. Darkness ruled over the earth. And it is during this period that we engage in crusades. If you have read the, you know, the very terrible things that Christians did. But even before then, it is at this time that the church was so weak that we lost as a result of that. The church, the body of Christ, the, nature, the worldwide church now, we lost Egypt to Islam. We lost Morocco to Islam. We lost Algeria to Islam. All those countries were Christian countries. Okay, okay. Turkey, Tun Tunisia, uh, uh, Syria, Lebanon. You know, we all those countries in North America and Asia, they were all Christian countries. We all lost all of them to Islam because the church was not self-criticizing. Even though the church came out and survived it, but one of the ways that God used the church to, to salvage the church, to survive it, was reformation. Yeah. That Martin Luther, the reformer, did. So when he came, he set free the church, broke the yoke, and started a new lineage of church that we call Protestants today. We are all products of what Martin Luther did. Okay. That's exactly what we're doing in Nigeria. Okay. If we let things to go the way it's going now in Nigeria, it will be dead, just like it died in Turkey. Christianity died in Turkey, in Greece, I mean in uh, uh, Morocco, in Egypt, in other places. So you believe the church can self-destruct if someone... Will yes, stand up yes. Pray? It is not the forces from outside that destroy the church. It is the forces from inside, the ignorance and the darkness from inside that destroys the church. And then the outside forces, on, like Islam, only take advantage of that. They will Islamize Nigeria without, without striking, without shooting a gun. We will self-destroy to the extent that everybody, Christians themselves, will move over to Islam. If we don't quickly, it is happening already. I heard that even children of pastors right now in Nigeria, are uh, becoming atheist. Mm -hmm. Atheism is taking over. You know why is the rise of atheism in Europe? Because of the death of the church in Europe. That's why it, that's what gave birth to atheism. So it, you know, they are, even right now in America and in, and in England, there are children of Christians and children of pastors, even in Nigeria, mm -hmm. who don't want to have anything to do with Christianity just because of the kind of practices that churches are tolerating right now. The church is being invaded by ungodliness. And that is pushing people away from church. Sure. So we must do reformation. We must stop the evil. We must chase away the darkness with the light so that we will be able to rescue not just the church but our nation. Well, when Martin Luther, the reformer, was doing what he did, people actually excommunicated him. They even told him that it was an anathem. He was an apostate. He was, he was declared as a devil in the flesh. And anybody that will have anything to do with him, they are cursed. But today, it is through that man, and thanks to him, and people like him who followed his examples, that we still have the church living. 
and even the people who excommunicated him, 400 years later, they celebrated him and forgave him and withdrew the, uh, the, 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 verdict. the verdict that they released against him. So today too, people might see me as an evil uh, destruction of, to the church, but history will put me in the right place of history. If you have been watching our videos and maybe you enjoy them, maybe you don't enjoy them, but still, we need you to help us spread the word. And for that to happen, we only need you to take five little steps. Please help us spread this word by liking the video. Then, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We also need you to press the notification button. And the way to do that is to click on the bell. You see the bell there? Click on it. Then, of course, leave your comments. Let us know what you're thinking about each video. And finally, we need you to go and share the world. Share this video on your Facebook timeline, on your uh, Instagram, and every other platform that you have. All right? Let's win the world for Christ. Thank you so much. Peace.